Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is NS. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop up a line in comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. Now I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you an information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable, to make a Shopify store very unique and professional, without having to pay for those expensive teams, or relying on those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money, and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge, and I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again another request on Horizon Team, which is how to adjust and move the slideshow banner box position on your Shopify store on Horizon Team. And note, this option is not available on the Team Editor. We will do it actually by using our own custom code, because on the Team Editor, it's very limited. What if you want to make it at the bottom of the slideshow, you cannot do that or you want to make it at the top of the slideshow you cannot do that or if you want to make it at the top right corner of the slideshow you cannot do that but the code i will share with you in this video will actually do all of them so no matter what position you want to position the banner box that has the button and title and small description you can add you can adjust it and move it anywhere you want on the slideshow top right corner bottom right corner bottom left corner anywhere you want by using your own custom code and it's very very short code and for in the video i will show you how to implement it and how to adjust it and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see this is shopify down team i always start with completely new team nothing on it in each video i add small customizations but the video like 60 or 70 the team will be completely different for example check out this all in one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources and it has tabs and so on or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales that were uh, on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. And you want to see something that will make you money? Check out this. So this is the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like I want to leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And it, this is exit intent trigger so it detects when the user trying to leave or close the page then it will show up which is very handy if you want to avoid abandoned carts and yes by using your own custom code and the video is already posted and many more i cannot even mention in one video as you can see many more things i added all in videos but for this video as i said we will adjust the position for the slideshow a banner box that has the button and description and the the title and we will do that on Horizon Team. So let's just close this and let's just actually switch to Horizon Team, which is this one. I don't think I have slideshow uh, added yet. No, I don't. So let's just get back in here. Let's just click on customize so we can add the slideshow first. Then we will move the banner box however we want. So let's just click on the plus button and let's just add it in here. Slideshow, here it is. And this is what I'm talking about, as you can see, this box. So if you want to adjust it at the bottom here or at the top here, you cannot do that. This is very limited. So we will keep this, uh, or actually we need to save so we can do that in live, so we can check it out. Now, after we added it, let's just get back in here, reload the page so we can see it. And here it is. Now, this part right here, we will move it however we want. Top right corner, bottom right corner, we'll drag it to the bottom here, anywhere you want. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So let's just get back in here and exit from the team editor. Then the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard already. Then the next thing you're going to do, click on all I store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots to the left of customize and click on edit code. Because as I said, this is our own custom code. And the next thing we're going to do is we need to find a specific folder in here. Instead of looking at the folders and files, simply use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in base dot css and you will see this file right here in assets folder called base dot css click on it and after that we'll need to scroll all the way down this is a huge file so let me drag this down here we go we are at the bottom of the file and in here we need to create some space so we can paste in our code and to do that simply click front of the last thing in my case is closing bracket then hit enter on your keyboard 
here we go. We have a completely new space to pass in our code. We're going to get that code. You need to hire a developer. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link to my website. Simply click on it and it will take you to this website right here. It's completely free and it has the code that we do need, which is this one right here. So simply click on this icon to copy the code, then get back in here, then paste it at the bottom of the file, which is base.css. So paste it in here and let me zoom in so you can see I added some comments so you can understand. This is says adjust the position vertically here. By here, I mean this number, 260 pixels as you can see. And this one is for adjust the position horizontally here. So by using these two combined, you can actually move this anywhere you want. Let's just click on save and see the changes for now. Then we get back in here to adjust it however we want. So let's just get back in here, reload the page after you click on save, of course. We will get back in here, reload the page and see what that will do. Check it out now at the bottom. And you cannot do this on the team editor. You cannot adjust it at this exact position. For example, if we want it at the top right corner, maybe let's just actually, I completely forgot how to do that. <laughs> By the way, let's just uh, decrease this number. Let's just add uh, 300 here or actually we keep it 200, we do here like uh, 390, yeah, let's just keep 390. Let's just click on save and see what that will do. Let's just get back, reload the page. Now it's moving to the right as you can see. The more I decrease this number, the more it will move to the right. Let's just do 100 this time. 190, we get back in here, reload the page and we see it moves more. So the more you in decrease the number below, the more it moves to the right. And the opposite for this one. If we do here like uh, 360, if we click on save, now it's save it. Let's just get back, reload the page. It will go even more down. So we have to actually decrease the number here too and we will, it will go up. Now if we reload the page, Let's just do that again. The changes didn't apply yet. Here raise it moves up. So you can adjust these numbers to position it anywhere you want, like in the corner or bottom right corner or top right corner. It's your decision to make. But for me, I think my job here is done. So that's how you adjust and move the banner box that has the button on the description on the slideshow on your Horizon team. And if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think I'm done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.